hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great and staying safe and just having a good time i guess um i'm coming at you today with a haul i know it's been a while since i've done this um but i had some stuff come in that i'd been waiting on for quite a while in terms of like collecting enough stuff for a haul so i thought i'd go ahead and film it for you and yeah here we are <laughs> so i've got a bit of everything really i've got some a random washi tape over here um some character stickers for fox and pip some two dollar tuesdays some kits both weekly kits and home each cousin kits journaling kits foil goodies a bit of everything really so stay tuned if you want to see that and let's get into it okay so i'm gonna start off with saucy stickers co apologies if i'm a bit rusty it's obviously been a while since i've done a haul um so let's go into the freebies first so this was the all orders freebie I think that I got so pretty um, and then I got two of my spring freebie uh, which has these gorgeous like florals um, like swatches boxes and then some bees because if you know me I love bees um, so you can use Husky 15 to save 15% off and mention me to get my freebie um, there's quite a few of us I think there's about five or six of us on Rebecca's team so definitely go check out her highlight and her Instagram see all of ours because all of the freebies are absolutely gorgeous so yeah we've got a, a great team that makes great freebies <laughs> um so I think this was I think Rebecca sent me this kindly um I had one order that went missing um she sent me um like a gift like a PR gift um and it went missing in the post she resent it um and then would you have it the original order turned up so i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway with some of these things that were in the original order as well um and i'll be probably doing that over on my instagram over the next week or two so um definitely go check out my instagram it's the same as on here pumpkin plans and yeah see when that's around to enter so first thing i'm going to show you is this kit it's called unstoppable it's in rose gold foil i love i have a thing i love abstract art in kits i just think it's so pretty and it's a lot of the time it's so unique so I was so excited when she did this so here are your full boxes so pretty hang on let me zoom you out just a tad there we go that's probably a bit better it's so pretty then you have your three headers checklist date covers like um, layering of functional items and then some boxes at the bottom here then you get six kind of like header size you could use as header or divider maybe with like something foiled later layered over it um some small square boxes some like fancy labels third boxes quarter boxes and half boxes again all foiled and then the last page is this bottom washi um some sidebar i call them like sidebar stackable items so you have your habit trackers your like weekly checklist a normal checklist some more boxes some more flags and some more like layering shapes so i love her format oh, i do if i mention there's some also like um label size boxes down here as well so that was unstoppable then i picked up the love letters hobonichi kit so this is a two-page kit and it's on premium mat i believe you can order them in trans sorry I got that the other way around. This is in transparent matte. I believe you can also order it in premium matte. I like the transparent matte. So it's just a bit more sheer when you pick it up. But yeah, here's your first page. You get some boxes, your like date covers, some strips, some flags of different sizes. I think it's another box. Um, some like square boxes and things. And some more that you could use as like a checklist. That's what I tend to use. Um, and then some washi strips some more layering shapes i love these shapes on here some more full boxes i usually use this over i think about two weeks because i don't necessarily use a box per day sometimes i do but other times i'll stretch it over two weeks and then these boxes here and i also picked up this floral add-on which i think goes to the weekly kit for love letter just so i had um that to go with it in case i wanted to add some florals and i also have the weekly kit so i could also add that one to that as well um next up i have some of her journaling kits rebecca's just been on a roll with all these like formats and things recently um so the first up is unstoppable which again goes with that weekly kit 
So here's a close-up of what you get. Again, I got this on transparent matte and I believe you can get it on premium matte as well. I love this quote, believe in yourself and you'll be unstoppable. So lovely. And then the same with Love Letter. All her journaling kits are slightly different, which I really like. This um, I'd use probably for more of like a daily spread these headers or you could use it for a weekly and then some leftovers do that or combine it with something else and this I'm really excited about so I spoke to Rebecca um about what you do like a bookish kit we both love reading um and she knows that it's something I'm really into at the moment sorry I keep stroking stroking this um and so we kind of had a bit of a brainstorm together and we came up with some fun ideas for like a journaling kit and it was so much fun to kind of talk to you about what I would love in a kit so here it is so there's two pages it's called bookworm very apt <laughs> um here's your first page I love this like watercolor it's very soft very watercolor vibes um to me you could use it any time of year like with the greens it could be more wintry and more Christmassy it could be spring with the flowers um they're just such calming neutral colors and the watercolour just gives it that soft edge. I love this box as well here. Sorry if you can hear, I think there's a dog barking. We've got the windows open, it's a beautiful spring day here. Because um, it is March when I'm filming this. But it's such a nice day, I've had to shut the window in this room I'm filming in just because it was so loud with the traffic. But I've got the windows open in the other room, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. But it's so warm and so sunny and so lovely that I didn't want to keep all the windows closed because we'll just boil <laughs> so apologies you can hear that but yes yeah, so it says you're never alone when lost in the magic of a book love that they're like strips so pretty love these layering washi strips as well and then this is the second kit so again you could use this more for some daily spreads you got your like um Gosh, that poor dog is really going for it, isn't it? <laughs> um, you could use these for some daily spreads for your days of the week. I love this. I said I really wanted like a library card kind of sticker or box. So I thought that was really cute. And just really pretty. So thank you, Rebecca, for listening to my ideas for this. <laughs> um, I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm so glad she threw it in with this. So thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, definitely go check out Rebecca on Saucy Stickers Co., on her website I think she also has an Etsy and her Instagram she posts amazing spreads in her home each cousin which I'm loving seeing at the moment so yeah definitely go check her out and don't forget to use Saskia 15 to save and mention me for my freebie okay next up we have quite a lot from Sadie stickers um as you know Sadie stickers is one of my favorite shops I always go a bit ham and I believe I placed one of these orders I think this one um these ones from the i think it was the end of january she had a sale she had a sale at some point um towards the end of winter so i picked up a few things then um i think one might be a pr order and i've also got some two dollar tuesdays so let's get into the two dollar tuesdays first so the first two dollar tuesdays i have is this one so oh yes so she did her mandala release i loved this release so first off i am on the pr team um you can use code saskia20 to save um and oh gosh i'm dropping everything and you can also mention me to get my freebie i'm just looking i can't find i don't think i have my freebie in here let me have a look i can't find it if i find it i will show you um but yeah you can mention me to get my freebie and get 20% off on everything that's normal in the shop other than planners and two dollar tuesdays um but in my order i also got rachel's freebie and then this is the first two dollar tuesday so let's go through these first so first off i got some boxes so this is the lace mini square five in gold silver and rose gold i love her rose gold it's one of my favorites then i also got the mini square two and again all three colors this is like a matte gold but i believe she now has a new kind of shinier gold um that she showed in one of her kits if you go on the 36 youtube channel you'll be able to see it all 
and then here we have the lace doilies I got lace doily 5 and lace doily 3 I thought these would be fun for layering in my journal um, as well as in weekly spreads and stuff and I'm excited to play around with them then she had some like colorways come out um, on transparent matte as well as premium matte so I got the lace mini circle 6 um, neutral colorway on transparent matte so as you can see you can see that it's on the transparent matte there so I got that one then I got the lace mini circle 5 in that colorway again on transparent matte these are all on transparent matte lace mini circle 2 in neutral and mini circle 1 in neutral then I also got lace doily 5 um, in neutral so again this is the same one as this actually that might be quite pretty layered over it or like I don't know it might be maybe a smaller one in within a bigger one that might be quite cool and I think that was all of them yeah so that was my first two dollar Tuesday absolutely love all of that I'm excited to play around with those um, in my weekly memory planner as well as some other planners then next up is this I think this was the butterfly two dollar Tuesday um I can find butterflies quite I'm not always the biggest fan but I do love the kind of like foiled ones that have been coming out recently so let's go through these sheets first so this is the butterfly layered garland again in all three colors because for spring I tend to kind of use all three really pretty then we have the butterfly halves the butterfly garland dangle this is one of my favorite dangles she does now I usually pick this one up in all of the collections it says the variety on there and then the butterfly double garland I think yeah Then I also picked up the Butterfly Garland, the washi in all three to maybe layer over some bottom washi or maybe along the top of the, my planner is what I'm thinking about experimenting with. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that $2 Tuesday. So next up I have some kits. As I said, I did purchase some of these um, in the sale in January. I haven't finished, I hadn't finished all my winter spreads at that point and I still got a few left to do so I stocked up on some of those that I hadn't picked up beforehand as well and then I think Alicia very kindly threw this kit in so I'll go through these more wintry ones first then we'll go into these like spring ones afterwards so the first collection I picked up is hot chocolate so again she has such a variety of things um, at the moment in her shop with different kits she doesn't do b6 kits anymore but we are having like journaling sheets um and these kind of like journaling kits which are really cute um the floors and the boxes now on two separate sheets which is really exciting um so you can pick up more of whichever one you wanted so you get more floors on one sheet so if you just want to floral you could just get a few of those at the boxes or you can mix and match so let's go through the weekly kit format first so this is hot chocolate it's in rose gold foil I love these full boxes I love this box here the little home sign as well and the pine cones and the, like um I feel like a garland archway really cute and then the fancy labels at the bottom then um you have I think this has been updated again I th think it's now been updated again the format We'll have a look when I get to the February 2022 kit because that will probably be where the change will be. Um, but at the moment up here in this kit you get these like scallops, the boxes, some like midi boxes that don't spread um, and fit the whole width of the column in a 7x9. And then these are the squared boxes, like this one with the candy cane, the little foiling details Alicia does. Then you have your three sets of headers you usually get a floral one and then two plain ones you usually get a confetti in a line as well 
um, and then we have your again like sidebar kind of things up here some flags some smaller boxes some layering shapes and flags and things and then some checklists and then your bottom washi I love this like wood grain some date covers some more boxes and then up here you have some more kind of like header size strips like scalloped headers so that was the hot chocolate uh, weekly kit I'll show you the add-ons so we have the floral add-on I still wiggle it as if it's got fall on I think it's just natural it's just a habit <laughs> um, and then the boxes I love these when they already have like the florals on them so I don't have to worry about pairing the florals and like cutting the floors up and putting them on a box etc <laughs> so love that again I love this like brown wood grainy pattern I think I have one of her old two little trees with wood grain in. Maybe I'll have to pull that in. Um, and then this is the journaling kit. So I got this on transparent mat. You can get it on premium mat as well. But again, as I said before, I do like the transparent mat. Um, what it looks like on the paper. So I primarily buy these for my home age cousin, but I might start playing around them with them in my weekly kits as well. She kind of has a general theme to how she lays out the journaling kits, but sometimes some things are swapped out, like the postage stamp obviously will differ, um, and it depends how much deco there is and things. But I love this. The little lanterns and the little hot chocolates and the candles, so cute. So that was the hot chocolate collection. Um, next up we have the shops, shop, shoppers, shops? I think it's just shops. <laughs> Um, collection so again I got the journaling kit as well as the add-ons so let's go through the weekly kit same format this is foiled in silver foil I love the blue tones in this and blue with silver foil is one of my favorite combinations bottom washi so that was the weekly kit then you have your two add-ons your florals and your boxes and then the journaling kit which again I got on transparent transparent matte paper So that was shops. Uh, then we have some, I picked up just some journaling like kits by themselves. I'm trying to figure out, what am I doing? What's was that way around? Usually hers are the type of cellos where it, um, you just pull it out the top. But with these, because there's lots of fiddly bits, I think she put them in one cello. So I think these must have been the freebies from that sale. So we have this one. I love this, sh this in the shape of a heart, so pretty. Some snowflakes and wintry things. You always use those for winter spreads. And then a more kind of like Valentine's Day themed one. Then here are the two journaling kits I picked up. So I got Christmas Spirit. I've done my Christmas week in my memory planner, but I haven't um, gone to that week in my cousin yet and I did want to document it so got that for that and again if not I can use it next year and then I also picked up Amelia I love the colours in this and the little like, desk box postage stamp super cute so there were those and then I also picked up the February 2022 kit Can I think I got the weekly kit, yeah, the journaling kit and the add ons. So let's go through the weekly kit again. This is in rose gold foil. I just love these colours. Bottom 
mushy. So that rose gold with those pinks is just exquisite, it's so pretty. I love the pastel colours in this. So that was the weekly kit, then you have your floral and box add-ons. And then your journaling kit. Again, the castle postage stamp is so cute. I love this box down here. Really pretty. Then I, as I said, I think Alicia very kindly chucked in um, Wildflower, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, these colours. She seems to always read my mind when she throws in kits. Um, it's always something that's on my wish list. <laughs> Maybe there's a way of her telling that if I've clicked on it before. I don't know. I wonder. <laughs> um, maybe she just reads my mind though. But yeah, here are the florals. I love these florals. They have kind of like the spindly like, leaves coming off. It's so dainty. And then here is the weekly cap. So foiled in that like matte gold. I love this box here and the one like the book and the candle. And then your bottom washing. So that was wild flower. And that was everything that I picked up from Sadie Stickers. Don't forget to use my code SASKI20 to save on regular items um, and mention me for my freebie. Next up we have The Giving Girl. These were from, I'm pretty sure, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend sales. Um, so I did get some grab bags and also picked up a kit or two, I think. We'll find out. Um, it's been a while since I've gone through all this since I received it. So here are the freebies. And then the other freebie with some icons. I believe she hand draws her icons. So pretty. Um, and then this was the all order freebie. I love these boxes. And as I said, I picked up two oops bags. So I got a boxes oops bag and a variety oops bag. We will go through those first. I think this might be two separate orders actually. Let's go through the boxes oops bag first. So, first off, we have this little sheet. Which again, it's only you can see the foiling is slightly off centered but I mean you can hardly tell when you peel it up most of her stickers even if they're oops you can hardly tell or it's only just slightly off that you can definitely use them so it's a great time to pick up her stuff or if you're new to her shop to try out some things so I got the dangling crystal boxes variety 2 in snowberry gold I think yeah um, the same but the dangling crystal boxes variety I don't know, I'm struggling to think when I'd use these, maybe for Valentine's Day or something. Um, maybe if I do like a magical spread to let me know what you think I should use them for. Or even in my journal, it's like layering shapes. This is the Crystal Boxes variety in silver foil. Um, the pink Christmas bowstrung ornaments in silver. Mini Crystal Boxes variety in gold. Then I have the pumpkin patch bowstrung circles in silver silver rose gold you know when the light catches it and it looks different I think that's silver it could be different I can't tell in the light <laughs> and then have autumn spring in rose gold uh, mittens colorway in dangling crystal boxes variety 2 again in silver no rose gold silver I'm not sure looks the same on here no rose gold <laughs> um, and crystal box is variety 11 in mittens again in rose gold and then the same again in gold so that was my um, oops bag of boxes I was a bit disappointed that it was mainly the dangling crystals um, but 
as I said, you kind of with a noose bag, you get what you get, don't you? But they're amazing quality still, um, and they're still definitely all usable. Then I've got a variety bag as well. So the freebie, similar to that other one, this matches the frost kit and is in silver foil. I love this box here. The cord sheets I got, we have the starry deco in rose gold. The autumn spring bowstrung box add-on in gold. Some more dangling crystal boxes. And still that kind of like collection. Uh, the snowflake numbers in rose gold, which I think are really cute. Some more of these crystals. <laughs> Some more of the bowstrung ornaments, the traditional colorway. And then for the bigger sheets, I got a sheet from the frost kit a sheet from the midnight kit which I have so that would be a good supplement for that and then a sheet from the hot cocoa kit which I don't have but I do like the boxes and I feel like you could use them in most Christmas spreads so those were the things I got in the um, giving girl grab bags highly recommend if you're new to a shop or if you just want to purchase them anyway because I always love getting that stuff but yeah that's them and then let's move on to my orders so this one was oh so this was her I didn't pick up her advent calendar this year but I loved the kit and she bought some extras for the shop so I did pick them up so we'll go through the extras I picked up for the kit so we have these hanging frame boxes in rose gold I think you could choose which color you got your kit and the add-ons in I think this is so unique so pretty maybe just like a script layered over it really love that oh I just thought of something for that actually it would be really cool um why have I got oh just realized I got the florals in gold and the rest in rose gold that was probably my mistake I don't think I have my invoice do I have my invoice in here? No, I think I might have got rid of it. That's fine. It was probably my fault. Anyway, you can't really tell too much. So then there's the florals. Uh, the mini fairy light boxes. And some extra boxes. So here is the kit. So here are the full boxes. So pretty. So it was so unique. And so gorgeous. Her... I don't know if she has a um, custom artist, but all of her stuff's always so unique. Or she draws it herself. I love this quote book. It says, indulge your imagination in every possible flight, Jane Austen. So pretty. Again, that soft watercolour vibe. And you have like your icons on the bottom. I believe she's just reformatted as well, actually. Then you have your bottom washi. And date covers. And some headers. Your boxes page again all foiled and then your last page which has a great variety of her boxes that match the kit some checklists i love these checklists they're so dainty and not like too in your face like they just kind of blend in with everything else rather than being like blocky checklists some arrows some sidebar things some more headers some icons and then some like script arrows so that was the flight kit from um her advent extras and then i also picked up because i wanted to try out her hobonichi cousin kits so we have the a5 cousin kit which is here so we have some checklists um your date covers some boxes some scripts some arrows and layering things, some full boxes, some like headers and kind of tiny tiny little boxes. If you can see that at the bottom. So cute. Then some more boxes. This is the second page. I believe it comes as the standard like two page kit. Um, and then you can get these add-ons. So I got the washi strip add-on. and the transparent like icons and shapes and things add on 
as well. So uh, that was everything I got from The Giving Girl. Definitely go check her out on her website and on Instagram. Jennifer's amazing and her stuff's always, as I said, so unique and beautiful. But yeah, definitely go check her out. Okay, now I have an order from the Fox and Pips. It's quite a big order, actually. <laughs> um, Amanda's one of my great friends that I've made through this community. Um, and I just love her doodles. She's so good at drawing. Um, I just love everything that she comes out with. So I always have to pick up something from her new releases. So this, I don't know when this new release was, I can't remember. But I just remember it being amazing that I grabbed quite a few things. <laughs> um, so starting off, we've got the Hallmark movie. I think oh hang on here's the oh it was the Black Friday weekend there we go um here's the freebie such a nice freebie I could do a whole daily spread or incorporate that into a weekly spread in my cousin absolutely love it and I know she loves her cousin too <laughs> um so sorry now starting off with what I bought we got the Hallmark movie icons are really cute. I love a, I love a good Hallmark movie. I'm a sucker for them. <laughs> Power off. She did also have this in the like multicolored colorway, but I preferred the neutral. So just a slight power off like you do on your phone. Oh, that'd be nice for like a chill evening, or just having a kind of switch off day. Then I got some of the book genres. I think did I pick up the mixture one as well? Yes, I did. Is there? Um, I picked up some of the book one so she released a sampler sampler sheet sampler sheet a sampler sheet with romance fantasy murder and mystery on but i am mostly a romance and mystery slash murder kind of um reader i do sometimes read fantasy but not very often i can find it quite overwhelming so i thought i'd pick up the sampler anyway so i've got those there but then i also got a full sheet of the romance and a full sheet of the mystery then I picked up the bowling sheet. Adam and I love going bowling for a date night. It was a lot of fun. Um, sometimes we do it with family and friends as well. Um, only Murders in the Building. Still need to watch this on Disney+. Plus, But I've heard it's great. So I definitely want to check it out. I thought that would be cute to mark watching it. And I don't know if there's going to be a second season. Um, let me know if you know. Then I got these daisies on craft paper. Which I thought were really cute. Would look nice in my journal. Deadline sticker. The work things send help this is also me sometimes at work when paperwork is stacking up <laughs> and getting a bit too much so that's good for a few times in the year when that happens um then i got the plant box this is on a transparent matte paper because again i thought this would be cute layered in like my journal and then i got two sheets of the um n and h stickers which is obviously nathan haley from one tree hill if you know you know um about this bracelet that he gives her when they start well she starts tutoring him from the is it cracker jack box i think that's what they're called um it's an american thing that we don't have here but yeah i thought i could mark use that to mark once you hair. it's just adorable so yes uh that was everything i picked up from amanda at the fox and pip she's over on etsy definitely go check her out and check out her Instagram as well, Fox and Pip, because it's just really aesthetic. I love watching her, um, looking at her photos and watching her hauls on her Instagram stories and stuff. So yeah. Okay, next up I have Miss Meow. As always, let's have a quick, a quick clap and appreciation for this packaging because it is stunning. I think she said she's changed hers now, um, but I absolutely love it. And the bows and that on the background so cute then i picked up so i picked up one kit for me one kit as a present for a very special someone um and which i think they know it's theirs now because i'm pretty sure i told them um and then some extra things as well i want to say um yeah so again i think this might have been black friday weekend so let's go through this pile first of goodies. So first off for freebies, we got a Crafts by Towie freebie in silver, which is always nice. Um, this was Regina's freebie. Regina is the woman who owns Mr. Meow. It also is lovely. 
and then this freebie with the snowflakes i love then i love her polaroid boxes so i picked up the um winter ones i have the autumn ones as well i just think they're so cute i love this one here and this one as well i love all of them so i got those in all three foils then this was a freebie as well i think this might have been over a certain amount of dollars I know I probably spent way too much that weekend but couldn't help it with her <laughs> uh, so you got this like washy kind of overlay but it's like individually cut which is amazing and then these which I think would be really cute for like date toppers um, and then some more like wintry ones underneath such a generous freebie um, and then I picked up two of her she just started doing journaling kits as well so I love how many people are doing them so this is the grace kit journaling page so pretty and the victoria kit journaling page i love these colors just stunning i don't know if they're looking as vibrant and beautiful on camera but they're so pretty um so then the first kit i picked up was frost so here are the florals i love like the little blue tit and the bench very like Narnia vibes <laughs> really pretty here are your full boxes in silver foil because Regina always makes her kits so unique even though sometimes it's clip art that a lot of people are using hers always looks so unique and beautiful and dainty and I just love them I mean look at this it's like a scene in a little like bottle so cute and you have some like script scalp headers there then you have your date covers, some of her icons, which I love, three lots of headers, some boxes, and some more of those script scallops at the bottom. Her infamous like circle doily boxes, some swatches, some squared boxes, some midi boxes, and then your kind of standard boxes you get in a kit. And then these are like lace trims at the bottom. Really cool. Then can we just take a second to appreciate this bottom washi isn't it beautiful oh i love it i love this with the snowflakes and then the florals as well and then obviously you get your sidebar stack stackable things as well i love these layering shapes too so that was frost in silver foil then i picked up the self-care kit pretty sure i've already told her um but this is for you malika <laughs> um definitely go check her out at just a perfectionist over on instagram she's my bestie um and yeah i picked this up for her when i ordered the rest because i knew she loved it and she wasn't sure if she was going to order or not and i was like you know what i have to i have to get it for her so i did <laughs> so i got it in gold foil so it's a very self-care themed kit which she always deserves self-care because she's just the best She's a mum of four. She's just a complete wonder woman. Um, and I absolutely adore her. So I got this a little thank you for being an amazing human present. <laughs> and to remind her so, to remind her to do self-care. Because <laughs> she's one of these people that looks out for everyone else. But she also needs to look after herself. <laughs> so yeah, I hope she loves that. Malik, if you're watching, I will send it out to you as soon as possible, I promise. I also have some more things actually I need to send you, so I'll do that. Um, and then I picked up the Victoria kit. I just realised I don't think I got the self-care florals from Malika. Oops, I'll have to see if I can buy those or give her some florals that I've got maybe that will go with the kit. <laughs> um, but this, so this one is Victoria. Again, I love these colours. Beautiful, these florals are so pretty. This birdcage, this frame box is just stunning little purse so cute um then here are your full box yeah here are your full boxes in rose gold again i've seen this clip art used with a few people but it's just always looks so different with her kits it's beautiful i love these blues and purples it's like sunset box this girl kind of getting ready in the mirror it says darling i want to chase beautiful dreams with you so pretty Again, same format. 
oh these colors if you just want to frame it <laughs> anyone else sometimes just want to like not use the kit because the full boxes look so pretty you don't kind of want to ruin it and it feels like a work of art like a print in a way because I do all the time <laughs> Yep, that was the Victoria kit, and that was everything I picked up from Miss and Meow. Definitely go check her out, she's one of my favourite shops. Um, she's over on Instagram and on her website. Now we have an order from Hello Petite Paper. Um, I've only ordered from her, I think, once or twice before, but she released a spring kind of Easter, well it is Easter, yeah, an Easter themed kit that I absolutely fell in love with, and also a... Kind of February Valentine's Day kind of kit as well. Um, I usually do if if I like more than one Easter kit, I usually buy two. Um, as our Easter break for work is two weeks, so I usually then will do the two weeks of Easter break. I will do a um, I'll do a Easter kit for each week. So that worked out well because there was two Easter kits I love this year. <laughs> uh, one from Sadie Stickers which will be coming soon and then this one from Hello Petite Paper as well. So here is the journaling card. It says Trust the Magic of New Beginnings. Really pretty and then it has her details on the back. Um, and then let's get into Love Letter first. So this is like a Valentine's Day kind of kit because I still need to do that spread. Um, I got it in glossy and it is foiled a lot of her stuff isn't actually foiled um, but sometimes she releases limited versions of the foiled ones so this is the freebie and I love that they come with a freebie for that kit as it is on glossy then here are your full boxes and it's in gold foil I just thought it was so pretty your second page you get checklists, some boxes, some kind of like unique boxes. I love this page. So you get your date covers, you get some headers, some different shapes of boxes and some kind of like uh, scalloped labels I guess you'd call them. And then some habit trackers and some more boxes. Did we have a... Oh yeah, it's a five page, sorry. It's a five page kit. I was getting confused then where the washi was. <laughs> um, you get the checklist, some flags, a weekend script, some kind of like little thing, fancy labels, some icons, some, these are really cute, they're like little flowers, some more arrows and flags. And then here you go, you have your bottom washi, really pretty, and some more shapes and things, your sidebar box, and then these like tiny little washi strips, which are really cute the florals from the kit as well so that was love letters and then i also picked up this easter kit and this one is called rustic blush so again here is your freebie it's a proper deluxe freebie i love it is this a box yeah this is another box i wasn't sure if it was a box or headers Is another box so pretty then here are your full boxes again this is in gold i just fell in love with this box here and this box here and I knew I had to get it <laughs> I just love the colours as well it's like a moody kind of spring Easter vibe I love, I love, 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 love it <laughs> yeah, I think it's this navy mixed with the wood grain and the blue I just really love so that was Rustic Blush and that was everything I got from Hello Petite Paper. Oh, I also forgot to say she is based in Portugal. So bear that in mind with kind of shipping costs and times and things. Now I have an order from Harriet Wright Designs. She is based in the UK, in England. Um, I picked up one of her $2 Tuesday releases and also a kit, which I'm very excited about. And you'll see why in a second. <laughs> Let's go through the $2 Tuesdays first. So starting off, of course, I had to pick up my bestie Malika's freebie. She is on the PR team. I love this freebie. It's in gold. I could use it in so many spreads. So good. Then I picked up some of these spring line art. So they're £2 Tuesdays instead of $2 Tuesdays. But I got them in all three foils. They are on like a glossy paper, like a glossy clear. 
I don't think she offers transparent map. She might do in the future, I don't know, but I know at the moment she doesn't. So, sorry if you can hear Adam shouting in the background, he's playing the Xbox. <laughs> um, so I got the lace scallops. This is like a, this is like a sampler because you have, are they all different? No, you've got three different ones, so they kind of go diagonally. So got that on white premium matte. Then I got the lace floral circle kind of sampler as well. The floral lace divider 2.0 on clear. Then the floral circle, I believe these are all the same, yeah they are. Then the floral bicycle which I just thought was adorable. So cute to mark spring days, maybe just go out for a walk, because um, I don't have my bike here at our flat, but just so cute, or even just as deco, I love it. So those were the two pound Tuesday orders, and then I've got the kit I picked up. So this kit is called Reading List. As you know, I love books. I couldn't resist. Um, although I think it is more of a, I'd probably use this more for a kind of autumn kit, which if I, I might do Novel November again this week, this week, this year. Um, so I think I'd probably put this in my lineup. But here are the florals. I might have to go back and get another sheet because they're quite small. So I might have to get another one. Uh, so here are your full boxes. It's foiled in rose gold so pretty it's just gorgeous your boxes page i love this brick pattern then you get three sets of headers i feel like that's the standard in kits now which is really good stackable things another um full box is that a different skin tone oh she's got different color hair some icons and then these are just kind of like little layering shapes so you have like circles you can see that um if you see the cut lines of a hexagon some like teardrops so like a flowery shape and they repeat themselves oh and then a little flag at the end and then i love this bottom washi they're like brick pattern with the scripts over it look at the writing so pretty then you have your date covers checklists some like little scallops and then you also have two scalloped strips up the top here as well all right right design is one of the first shops i ever bought from when i joined the planner community because she's based in the uk um, and i was so excited to have such an amazing shop in the uk so definitely check her out but yeah that is everything i got from how right designs don't forget to use malika's um mention her in the notes to get a PR freebie I think her code is Malika15 or Malika10 I can't remember but go check her out regardless and check out Harriet as well and yeah that is everything from Harriet Right Designs okay I now have a few orders from one of my favourite people in this community um, which is Ceci um, from My Sword Planner she is based in France so again obviously factor that into shipping costs and processing times and things but I just absolutely adore her um, and her shop as well. So this is the um, like journaling card, business kind of card, which is it's upside down, oops, um, that you get with your order. Really pretty, I think. Would that fit in an A6 possibly? Then uh, let's go through this order first. So first off, these are the freebies. So you get, I guess that was an all order freebie. And then Malika has a code for her, which is Malika15. I love her freebie. Look at me just like hyping you up and shouting you out in this haul. <laughs> um, Malika is honestly the best, so you definitely need to go check her out. Uh, then what I like about what Ceci started doing is she is doing two floral sheets. You have one, which is these floral trims, which I love. I love putting these throughout the spread and kind of on the date cover area as well so they're those for the kit and then you can also get the deco set with florals on it as well 
so this kit is called bibliophile it's in rose gold here are your full boxes again this would be perfect for northern november bottom washi is gorgeous and she's doing her i feel like she was the first person to do the cutout washi but uh, there you go so pretty but yeah i'm pretty sure she was the original person to kind of start that cut up washi what i saw uh, anyway um she might not have been but she was the first person i saw do it so so pretty you get your date covers uh, this week one as well and then your kind of weekly sidebar thing with a little coffee thing so cute then you have this page she has again i think she has reformatted again um reformatted sorry so this might not be the same but she did have three sets of headers in the different colors and then loads of kind of like boxes and layering items and things and then your boxes page and some habit trackers so pretty so that's bibliophile and you always get a free date cover um date dot sheet as well which i think is great so that was bibliophile and that was my first order and then first order is in out of these two not my first order i order from her all the time i think she's sick of me since um purchasing orders <laughs> then we've got this one so let's go for this first so we have again this freebie which is upside down <laughs> uh then we have the all orders freebie love these so functional then i picked up the does that say fairy drop string lights that she came out with so i got the light gold rose gold silver and gold so here are her light gold and rose gold for comparison so you can see the light gold is definitely a lot lighter and the her gold pulls her regular gold pulls a lot more hot a lot warmer then getting into the kit we have again those two deco sheets so the floral trim and this kit is called live a little it's such a beautiful spring kit and your normal deco sheet this is in rose gold so i got those date dots and then here is the kit i love 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 it it's like kind of strawberry themed so cute one of my first ever kits I got from her was a strawberry kind of kit. It was the strawberry and waffle one, if you remember that. Um, I think I might have a plan with me on my channel. Or was it before I made my channel? I'm not sure, but it was amazing. And this reminds me a lot of that. I love it. So full boxes again and your labels. Oh, here we go. This is the new format. Perfect. So I can show you this one as well then. So this is your bottom washi just look at the greens and the reds so pretty and obviously the headers are now coming with the washi on this page they are normal headers these two here and then these ones at the top the bow ones are scalloped don't know if you can see that then you have your date covers on this page with your sidebar things some flags and then look how cute this is so you get some deco some more of those florals that are foiled and some different kind of frames and boxes which i love and then here is your boxes page so that was the kit live a little and that was everything i got from Ceci over the last few orders definitely go check her out on her website she also has an etsy and her instagram is obviously amazing as well okay we're nearly done we have two more shops <laughs> um but this order is from dasha sun designs she is based in canada um chelsea's lovely she's so much fun so this is her business card then i picked up her sweet romance kit again for the month of february so let's start off with this one which was an add-on i got this in rose gold so pretty i love these boxes i think they're so unique and cool 
and you get some like functional shapes down here and layering shapes and these frames such a good sheet then I picked up her deco sheet which I'm loving at the moment so it's a kit size sheet as you can see um, but you have kind of your general florals some deco and then um, seven of these trims which, as I said I like to use in my date cover section so this is great and then here is your kit so you have your full boxes again in rose gold I think most of my like Valentine's Eve February kits are in rose gold other than the Hello Petite paper one which is in normal gold why does it say normal gold it's just gold it's not rose gold <laughs> again you get this really cool frame box the lace these boxes which you could use horizontally or vertically I like these with the like trim over them it's so pretty then some icons, some more cool boxes, some checklists, some layering shapes. This like clipboard box is cool, your three sets of headers and your weekly sidebar. Then you have your bottom washi, your date covers, a habit tracker, some like smaller flags and then another box. Yeah, so that was Sweet Romance from Dash Sun Designs. I also forgot to mention there's these tiny little strips at the bottom you could use for well, anything as a divider or anything really <laughs> um but yeah so that was everything from dash sun designs definitely go check out chelsea's shop okay last but not least is rose and tea shop which i guess is a pretty sad sad time because they are now closed but um but I still love both of them equally um, and T still does a lot of live videos um, and shows her spreads on her Instagram which is plenty of planning but with T is in like a cup of tea um, and yeah they're just both lovely and I'm really sad they're shut but I'm excited to see what they kind of do with their careers. <laughs> um, so first off I've got their little journaling, or not journaling it's like business card so pretty i just love the aesthetic of their shop and um, then i picked up this washi so cute and then let's go into the order so i also picked up a few sheets for malika but i think i've taken them out and put them in her pile of stuff i need to send her so let's start off with the quarter sheets so i got two like weekly kits and then some quarter sheet some will correspond so this is the rustic boxes and divider sheet i absolutely adore this collection the colors the way they've done it the patterns the florals i just think it's beautiful so this is the boxes and dividers i got two of those because i knew they're going to be close i'm not going to be able to get them again so i was like i have to grab two <laughs> um and some flower beds again i got two of those just oh just love it and i'm pretty sure they hand draw well, hand drew I should say um everything themselves so it's not clip art like you won't find it anywhere else as far as I'm aware the plan set flat lays the rustic dried flower looms these are just so cool um some craft half boxes again I got two of those uh, the rustic marquees then these are from the frost um nope there's another one down there hang on let's do that so they're all in the same order <laughs> um this is the rustic blooms journaling deco set one and two i love um and then we have the early frost journaling deco set uh which i also got the kit for so pretty then i picked up the rustic bloom b6 kit in the yeah russet bloom b6 kit so this is two pages and then you could also get a washi add-on so here are your like full boxes some flags some boxes and i think this is another strip yeah i think the wood grain is another strip at the bottom your date covers i always love how they do their date covers so pretty your boxes this is so cute is this all a header oh my god with the acorns so cute checklists i just oh why did they close <laughs> no i know it's for good things but 
I just I love their stuff so much and then this I got the deco and then the bottom washi as well and again I could use this to put into a journaling spread with those other sheets if needs be love that and then I also got the early frost v6 kit again as well so the same format they're just so talented and that wood grain again chuck wood grain in a kit and I'm I'm ready to buy it's in my cart already <laughs> before it's even been listed on the site I'm ready to go <laughs> this one big strip no it's two strips so pretty so that was everything i got from rose and tea shop it's bittersweet because as i said i'm so happy to see um what they go on to do um and things but i will miss them because i do love them <laughs> but yeah so that was everything from rose and tea shop okay guys that's going to conclude the haul for today i hope you really enjoyed um please don't forget to like comment um and subscribe if you can check out my instagram which is listed down below same as this and also my bookstagram is linked in there as well if you like reading or just seeing book related things <laughs> um but yeah hope you enjoyed i hope you're doing well and i will speak to you soon bye